well hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is mansa queen and in today's video guys i have another box cake mix hack yes i've been getting a lot of feedback um from the previous ones that i did so today i'm going to be sharing with you how i make my delicious pineapple coconut cake you could call it pina colada cake and i will be using my duncan hines perfectly moist pineapple supreme turn it into something really delicious that would taste just like homemade so let's get started for a box cake mix hack of course you would need one box of cake mix and you want to use a pineapple flavored box cake mix and as usual i'm going with duncan Hines. you can use any brand of your choice i just prefer to work with this particular brand and this is what it looks like just one box you need and the instructions on the back as usual we are not going to follow it so please stay with me and let's revamp this recipe so the recipe calls for three eggs and if you've been following any of my box cake mix hacks you know that i always add an additional egg to boost up that richness in the box cake also instead of water the recipe calls for one cup of water instead i'm using one cup of heavy whipping cream you could use one cup of regular milk one cup of any type of milk really but just don't use water okay now you would also need one small box of the french vanilla jello this is the instant pudding mix and i believe this is the 3.4 ounce pack what this pudding mix is going to do is just to make our cake more dense it would not be as dense as a pound cake but it would definitely change the texture a lot of box cakes box cake mixes contain this but we're going to add one 3.4 ounce it pairs perfectly now the recipe calls for one third of a vegetable oil but no i am going with great quality butter as usual i'm going with my Kerrygold, and i'm doubling it to two thirds of a cup of butter yes guys we want all the fat in there now for my coconut i'm going to be using some sweetened coconut flakes now to cut down on the sugar mind you the pudding mix also has sugar and the box cake mix itself has sugar you can use the unsweetened coconut flakes it works perfectly so i'm going to be using a heaping half a cup of coconut flakes it's perfect for this amount now for flavors i'm going to be using pure vanilla extract i'm also going to bump up that pineapple flavor well by adding the citrus which is this pure orange extract and also bumping up my coconut flavor by adding my pure coconut extract these three guys works perfectly now let's get started so this is my baking um dish that i'm going to be using today it was a little bigger than the quantity of cake that i'm making but oh well it was already too late so i just went ahead with it but yeah you just want to go ahead and just grease your baking pan baking dish whatever you're using you can use a bunt pan for this it works perfectly and if you don't have a non-stick pan go ahead and coat it with flour lightly now in my large mixing bowl i'm going to empty out my one pack of box cake mix my pineapple box cake mix and also empty out my one pack of french vanilla pudding mix now you can go ahead and just stir them up quickly just to incorporate the pudding mix and the box cake mix if you were enjoying this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up i would make sure to link all of my box cake mix hack videos in the description box below if you were interested to check them out now it is now time to add my one cup of heavy whipping cream look at how creamy and thick that looks and i'm also adding two thirds cup of melted butter at room temperature very important guys and also i'm going to add the four eggs which are also at room temperature it is important to bring your stuff out and let them all be in room temperature now for the butter i just simply put it in the microwave for about a few seconds and when it melts i let it sit and get back to room temperature because when you um if you work with hot butter the eggs are going to start cooking before you bake and you don't want that now to mix i'm going to start on low speed 
for 30 seconds and I'm going to bump up the speed to medium high and I'm going to beat that for two minutes. That's exactly what the box cake instruction says. So I don't alter this part. I just follow whatever it says for the mixing. You don't want to over mix. You don't want to over mix your cake. That's one thing you don't want to do. So I'm just using my spatula and scraping the size of the bowl while I go ahead and beat the batter. You can see it is really nice and thick. Two minutes later, this is what I have. Nice and thick. You can see those peaks. This is what exactly you're looking for. Almost looks like a pound cake, but not. So now I'm going ahead with my flavors. I'm just going with half a teaspoon of each of these. Half a teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of the other ones. Now I'm adding my heaping half a cup of coconut flakes. Again, this amount pairs perfectly with the quantity of cake that I'm making. Now I'm just going in with my mixer just for a few seconds. You can just use your spatula to do this so to just avoid overbeating your cake. This is just to incorporate the, the coconut flakes in it. You can simply just go in with your spatula and fold it in. But yeah, this is what I have. My batter is done nice and thick. By this time, I want you to preheat your oven. Your oven should have already been preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to go ahead and pour this nice thick batter into our a greased baking pan. Now, this is one trick I like to do. I like to add that coconut flakes on the bottom. It just helps to form a very nice thick thick and brown delicious crust so this is what it looks like I just sprinkle that all over the bottom of the pan before I go in to pour my batter and also if this is your first time here I want to take my time to welcome you thank you for stopping by and to my returning subscribers hey y'all now I have poured my batter in there I'm just gonna go ahead to just level it around just make sure that it is not one-sided no big deal over here pop it drop it as usual make sure you release them air bubbles and into a hot preheated oven it goes we are baking at 350 degrees now for this quantity it says to bake it at 35 minutes if you put in your skewer in the middle or a toothpick it should come out dry and if it's not due to all the extra ingredients that we put in you might want to put it back in for an additional five minutes so make sure you check that before you eat, eat it okay so this is what it looks like fresh out of the oven can you see that beautiful crust looks beautiful you're gonna see it and now i'm gonna let it sit down and it has already cooled off for about 20 minutes you always want to let it sit so it's now cool to the touch i'm gonna go ahead and get a thick slice so we can see what it looks like nice easy moist delicious you can see the crust on the sides guys let me tell you if you are a lover of them tropical um flavors pineapples coconuts this is your go-to cake it is nice delicious and i do hope you get to try it this is it nice and up close and personal i want to thank you guys again for always stopping by feel free to share my videos with any of your friends and family tell them about mantle queen come join the family we all have fun over here good food nothing but good vibes now just to make it look a little more presentable, I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some coconuts, baby. Yes. <laughs> it is tropical and we're going all the way, honey. Mm -hmm. Now, thank you so much for watching. Until I catch you in my next one, I want you guys to really stay safe. And if you do have any cooking hacks that you want me to uh, share with you, you can let me know. In the meantime, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to link um the videos to this chocolate cake box mix that i did this particular french vanilla cake that i did this delicious lemon cake that i did and you guys can entertain yourselves with that i will see you in my next one bye y'all